Okay, I got some shit that's like, I'm gonna know my bitch is so. No, it's like, I make up my bitch is so mad. Not, well, I forgot how she goes, bro, but the next part is like, I'm gonna know my bitch is so bad. I said, don't cut them off. No, I said, he gonna be damned if I go take them off. But I don't really love him, hate him, pass the ass to death. And he don't really love him, hate him, pass the ass to death. No, we don't really love him, we gonna keep a girlfriend. Like, I, I, I like, and that's a down south type thing. Voice on that type of beat, so like my other man's cooking. Like, we're out in Germany, he's using the Cali, like shoreline type beats, like, and, and just talking on it. Like, you feel me? Like, that's just what we've been practicing. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Singing on the club beats, like, all that type of shit. That's what it is, you know. Like I said, it's just like it's like going back and yeah, versus how being versatile, like, expressing yourself.
this. Let's do this. What? You good? He's got it. He knows what uh, music's all about. He knows what's coming up. And you're, you're going to be something big, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like, you're going to be, you're next up, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, 100%. Bro. Yeah. You're up next, bro. For real. Like, I respect all that shit, bro. I, I really, like, like I said, I just got to meet you today. Uh, got to listen to one of your songs. I looked on your, your page real quick. You know, I wanted to do a little research on you right before. And I was like, shit, this dude is really good. And now I'm listening to you firsthand. I'm like, shit. He's got it. Because some of these other artists, they're just like, I do this, this, this. Yeah, but when you yeah. seriously... I really make these shits in like 10 minutes, too. Yeah. That, and that's even better. Like, the, like I did my, my best song. I did. So how long did it take me to do four bars on that song? Like five minutes. No, no, no. The, the Blame It. You remember? It took oh, like me, an hour. To, no, it took me like six hours to do that fucking song for, yeah. for one, one bar. Because I had to rap fast. And that was when I was all drugged up, fucked up in the head, and it was bad. But when I started to get into the songs that were doing quick, I did a whole song in five minutes. But when you do that, when you tell me, yo, I do these things, I think of these things in 10 minutes, that shows how advanced you are. Because when you're, when you're new, you shouldn't be like that. You should, when you're new, you should be still learning how to write these songs, how to even flow right. Because when these rappers come in, I always call it the, the new flow when you are off beat by like one little bar. But when you have the flow right and everything right away, and your bites on the 10 minutes, shit, that's so fucking advanced, bro. I gotta get props from you, bro. Like, that's Dude. that's legit, bro. Like, <laughs> that was smooth, bro. You make me laugh, bro. <laughs> you even know what, what you're doing to me? You're just strumming. You do have the sunglasses, bro. You're fake for that. You make me do some more, bro. I was wearing these in the interview. That's why I was pissed when you asked. I was finna wear these shits. <laughs> Yo, so, you know, back on this, bro, like I said, like, guys, like, when, I, when I'm doing these podcasts, I make sure that we are going to be bringing in the top artists. Now, the top artists, you know, we're not bringing, we, we're not talking about top, like, mainstream. I'm talking about top and skilled. I'm talking about top in, you know, how advanced they are in, in, in the rap game. You know, I'm, I'm the type that's about quantity or, or quality, not quantity. Because you could have a song with a million views that's dog shit. You could have a sexy red song, literally her sexy rapping. Red's about fire. It. I don't think she's that good. I mean, like she's fine. It's just like getting. Bro, no, a lot of bitches are not gonna be that bold to say that horse shit. That's the thing. It, Listen, it, she's bold with the. Here's the thing. Like it's so like it's getting like outdated now with all that shit. Because it's like you know what she's doing it. It's just getting repetitive. You know what it is? Because all that's all I see in my feed. It's just getting annoying. Yeah, but the fact. But that's that's what I mean. Like that's the thing. I, like but, but even with Ice Spice, like Ice Spice, talented. Yeah. Like she's ba- like I, I personally I don't think she's she that. She a baddie. She knows she a ten. I really don't think she. I don't really think Ice Spice is that good looking. She's not my type. But like the thing is in that. The comments is what I need to know. Would you eat Ice Spice's butt? That's what I want to know. Yeah, class comment. Would you eat that butt? You know, would you spice it up a little bit and eat the butt? Nutmeg, cinnamon, and lick it up. Whipped cream. Make that Dunkin' Donuts drink of her asshole. Oh, my God. Are you drinking it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, nah, but, I mean, like, you look at them, and it's just, like, it's just... The, the problem, though, is that when I say, like, sexy reds getting, like, outplayed, that's just... All the same things repetitive, and she's it's like mid, though. she's not even that bad. I mean, yeah, she's not that bad. She's mid. It's just like the thing nah, is that they're not expanding range. Like you look at Post Malone, he had you know White Iverson, yeah. then he started doing that all Molly Crew shit goes crazy. Molly, exactly, he's he's expanding his range, and it's something Hell new. Yeah. It's it, it's every artist now. It's just the same old shit, and it's not good. But when we have somebody, when I want to have artists come in the studio. I want people that are advanced. I want people that know the industry, how it works. And when you're coming in, when I have you in here, you're expanding your range. You're having all different types of songs. When I hear something, I'm hearing something new, literally new. It's a new sound, a new voice. I'm like sitting here going, this is something that I've never heard from. I'm like, shit, this is cool. Not the same old, uh, nothing my coochie. And then, uh, oh, I got this. I'm ski at Every song is the same thing. And it's just like, you know, it gets repetitive after a while. And no disrespect to Sexy Red, like look. Yeah, no Sexy Red name no, no, no hate on her, like I said. Like just, I'm, you know what I'm disrespecting? I'm disrespecting the algorithm because right, everything I see is the same thing repetitive. Like like I said, for her to come out and say, you know, 
to be drastic like that, to be controversial. Like I said before, when you have a, when you're gonna say something controversial, the controversial artists are the ones that are going to get played the most because people are gonna be talking about the most. Look at like even Eminem back in the 2000s. He was out here doing the craziest shit on the, on like he wouldn't be able to get away with the things that he did today. And when you do that, everyone's gonna talk about it. You know, people wanted to cancel them, this, that. They're gonna listen to that, and that's gonna be the talk. Now Sexy Red, the talk. Ice Spice, the talk, because they're the ones doing all the crazy shit. She's doing all the horse shit because of that. When you separate yourself from we that, you have, a, you have a little gimmick out here, you know, um, and, 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 and in a sense, not, and a gimmick, not in a sense of, oh, gimmick to, not know that you're a really good artist. You brush your teeth. Know. You better brush your teeth. I used to, like, she, I always had a, either way, I like, you like, she used to, like, either thing, like, she would have, like, a toothbrush in, in, in my crib or whatever. As soon as we finished and she wanted me to finish her mouth, I'd always say, all right, that was fun, yeah, right? Yeah, get, get, get the toothbrush. You're brushing your teeth before you kiss me oh, again. Yeah. It's like, I'm not into that shit, bro. One time she did that shit, I was like, blah, bro. I, bro, I threw up. I was like, that shit nasty, bro. Nah, Why you I took this bitch one time. I fucked with her and everything. I'm fucking her in the backyard at this uh, at this kid's house, like a two man type of shit. But it was someone else's house, not even my man's. That I, my son Mark that I was talking about. Yeah. Those bitches, but we from me, we running shit a lot. But and the other homie stuff was there. But I'm fucking this bitch in the backyard. This other kid, I'm like fuck. He's he's sitting across the table. <laughs> like finally, like uh, we were just saw us start fucking in the backyard. My man's cracking a little bit. Other little bitch in the V. You feel me? So boom, I I I'm, I'm nut. All on her mouth and shit. She starts crying. I don't want to kiss her. She, and I just like, I, I, like, I never talked to her again. I got some shit that's like, I, I got some bars and some shit that's like, none on her lips. Then she want me to kiss it, trip it. Like, you yeah, know, I said like, that on a song. I was like, what was it? Uh, Fucking that bitch, I'm not even gonna kiss. Make your man's piss, that Betty gon' diss. I'ma pull up, yeah, I hit a lick. Not no gang, no blood, no crib. I was like, yo, like, that's then, like, you don't need to be kissing bitches like that. Like, you know what it is? Like just and I like the bitch yeah. and everything. I still fuck her again. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like if like that that's but that shows more respect. Like I'm not gonna kiss you, but I'm gonna still fuck you. And then if you're good, no, I'll, I'll kiss her. Eat the whole team. Yeah, let the whole. Yeah, exactly. Like you know what it is. Like you know what. Some of your boys are not squad. They not be having shit. You know what? They might as well get get some some out of it. You know. It's, it's like I've been in the, in the incest shit. It's like every bitch you training probably took a family dead. <laughs> They, they, what they thinking about is, oh shit, dick is dick. I'm, I'm just kidding. And you know what it is? They have that. Then they have the daddy issues. And like, you know what? They want to have, you know. Uh, they ain't your daughter's it, lies. They be making them horns, exactly. man. Exactly. Be mad at your daughter. Has an influence on what you're gonna speak about in your songs. That's gonna have like a lot of influential stuff. What are for those three artists? What are the top songs for those three artists that you like? Shit, for five P. Yep. I'm fucking with Kobe. <laughs> Like certain one thing leads to another, but I I I'm like like the lot like I like to okay certain beats I just want to talk over talk over I'm gonna just talk about a whole situation in life melodic songs I'm gonna just sing and make it vibe you exactly that's just how it is I mean you, you get one of those melodic songs and you're like okay melodic let's talk about romance let's talk about girl let's talk about like good shit when you want to get on like storytelling beats that's when you go on the uh, you know, like those like those oh, trap yeah. beats and everything, where you're like, okay, let me tell a story, some some like a uh, King Bond type shit. Yeah, and you yeah. get on, uh, you know, the drill shit. Like, oh, yeah. song back. I was like, damn, oh, nah, yeah. Meeting the song, yeah. putting the song back up, yeah, but it would be like not private. It would just be deleted. Yeah. You, just, you know what it is? Oh, you, look, you look at yourself and you're like, you know what? That's the old me. I want to have a new mainstream song. Not like the, the, the gangster song, like the, the drill song, like the melodic song, like the Post Malone songs, the uh, the Drake songs. It's all the same thing. I realize the genre, not, they just express themselves differently. We talk on the beat. They scream on the beat. We do this. We sing on the beat. They'll sing on the beat. They'll do that. The way they express themselves in music. It's all, and that's when I really started to realize that music is an expression. So when I was doing smoking weed, doing all that, I learned that, I, and I had an appreciation for other genres because of, I feel like, in a sense, that you can relate to that in a sense of everyone has the same message. People just express it differently, and it broadens your, it, it, it expands your audience when you express it differently. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I made like I made like some screaming shit like on, on, on some X Five. Like, I'm not into like the screaming, but 
but I mean like screaming. I don't mean like every five seconds it's like da, 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 like not like that. I mean like it's like a scream like da, 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 like like a high note scream and then they just get back to back to singing type shit. Like and that's what it is. Like I, I even the other day like I one of my really my favorite heavy metal band they were back in the seventies. Now they're still doing music to this day. Dropped a new song and I listened to the lyrics. I'm like this shit that they dropped was so relatable. They don't even sing about this. Like, they dropped a song that was relatable to me and I'm like you know what. That made me fuck with that song so much that it's literally like I have a playlist and it's all like really a lot of rap songs, but I added it to my playlist of like top songs. And you know what it is? I look at my uh, everyone's doing the Spotify rap now. They're all talking about like, oh, what did we listen to this past year? Like shit. Three of the five top artists were all like rock and not even rappers. You know what it is?